I'm Dr. Julie Glevin from Denmark. In 2013, I finished my PhD thesis on timing of elective cesarean delivery, which is also the uh, topic of our review in current opinion in obstetrics and gynecology. American and British obstetrical guidelines discourage scheduling of elective cesarean delivery prior to 39 completed weeks, as a large number of observational studies found a decreased risk of a, a neonatal adverse outcome uh, with increasing gestational age. We conducted the first randomized trial to compare elective cesarean delivery at 38 and 39 weeks. In our data, we detected no significant maternal or neonatal benefit from postponing elective cesarean delivery to 39 weeks. Last night, I was working night shift here at the, the delivery ward, and one of my patients, Anna, uh, was admitted with contractions. She was 38 weeks, four days pregnant, uh, and uh, she had an elective cesarean delivery scheduled four days later. Nevertheless, we had to perform the cesarean delivery uh, ahead of time because uh, Anna progressed in labor. Her daughter was uh, delivered just before midnight and she presented uh, within minutes with respiratory distress. So we called the attending pediatrician and the baby was transferred to the neonatal intensive care unit. After a few hours, the baby girl was discharged and reunited with her mother. Anna felt happy that her cesarean delivery was brought forward, but of course uh, regretted being separated from her daughter. Anna's cesarean delivery is one out of approximately 18.5 million cesarean deliveries performed worldwide each year. Consequently, even minor changes in the circumstances or treatment related to the cesarean can have significant impact on neonatal or maternal global health. With an elective cesarean delivery, gestational age is a modifiable factor, although we cannot prevent spontaneous labor onset or supervening obstetric complications while awaiting the scheduled delivery date. How good is the evidence that 39 week zero days should be used as cuddle for scheduling elective cesarean delivery? Are there circumstances in favor of 38 week scheduling? In our review, we present recent literature on uh, gestational age at elective cesarean delivery. We compare adverse events in the neonate or mother, logistic circumstances, and patient preferences associated with elective cesarean delivery at 38 or 39 weeks of gestation to weigh the possible risks or benefits of cesarean delivery timing at these two gestational ages.